Hey y'all, so today, which is this <laughs> um, video, is uh, this is pretty much the last clip of my previous video because I didn't want it to be too long. Um, but pretty much is where I left off uh, with the pillow saga and we're just unpinning everything. All right, the next step on, on doing your pillow, not the pillow case, your pillow, is um, to go ahead and cut the corners. Do not cut the threads. Do not cut the threads. So you're gonna start out with that, and then you're gonna do like a little V right here. Right there, that's all you're doing, you're trimming. So you're gonna go ahead and do that all the way around. And remember, all of your these you want to save them because you're going to use them for inside your pillow. Okay? Now, you can flip it around. Okay? So here's your little opening where you made it. And you want to go in between the two cottons. In between the two cottons. Trust me, there's been many of times where I accidentally did it where it's the cotton and the and the uh, batty <laughs> that's the only reason why I'm saying it because I've done it <laughs> and you stick your little bitty hand in here and I always get the far the furthest corner or the far corners first and bring them in like I said I I fiddle I, I make mine small but uh, you know you don't have to make your small And then when to take your corners to make them more pointy, if you can stick your finger in, if you, if you have a small enough finger to stick them in, then, then, it, then that'll work. If you don't have a, a finger that's skinny, you can use this, your scissors. Just be very careful. Make sure it's not fecal. Make sure it's like blunt, you know, dull, I guess you would say. And then just kind of, you know, go inside and then just kind of, you know poke it out um, but my corners are are pretty cornery cornery <laughs> and you want to do that to all four of them same thing use my scissors There it is. All right, we're almost there. Now it's time for the stuffing. <laughs> Let me go get some uh, some stuffing. I'm gonna use both stuffings and um, uh, scraps for my pillow. That's how I normally use use up my my uh, like my batting scraps or my flannel or my fleece scraps. To, just you know just to get rid of them so let me go ahead and get some scraps all right so here is my drawer that has scraps say scrap batting but it doesn't have just batting uh, of course here's batting but it also has um, some uh, da -da -da -da. well I put the colors down here uh, I had some uh, fleece in here but um, and then the fluffy stuff, but I took out all the dark colors out because I don't want it to to see through through the white. So this is all like white batting, white fleece stuff like that. So if you have a little stash of scrap batting, uh, obviously this is where you're going to start at. Um, just real quick, I am going to go ahead and uh, do a quick press on it. One. Uh, not only to obviously get the wrinkles out, but to also, um, I want to steam this down a good crease 
so that way when I sew it down um, you know I won't have to fight it or anything so let me go ahead and start with this crease right here so I just want to do a quick crease a nice good crease let me steam that bad boy and then let me do the other side or actually I think I can just do it right on top of it Just like that. Oh, oh yeah, that's perfect. And then also um, press the, the edges. Uh, when I press the edges, what I like to do is I like to dry iron first, like this, you know, with the line showing, and then I'll roll it to where it'll literally be in the middle just like that and then you can press it down with, with steam like uh, like I said th that is like the easiest way to do it okay Let's see how the back looks. Dang, it steamed right through that it even did back. That is so cool. Damn, that's awesome. And here's a little piece right here. Awesome. That is super awesome. All right. All right. And lastly is the stuffing. So we got this. And uh, I'm actually kind of um, recording blindsided. Hold on, let me see. Yep, okay, I'm in. I'm in for the win. All right, now just to give you a heads up, um, if you have big pieces that, you know, that are too big or, or whatever, you can always, you know, you can always cut them. You know, just kind of give you a heads up. What I like to do on my corners, I like to start out on all four corners first. And what I put in the corners are the smaller um, scraps. The smaller scraps before I get the, the, um, the stuffing. Okay. Things like that. Uh, because the stuffing, to me, I feel like the stuffing is going to um, uh, get smaller quicker. And at least the the batting or the scraps, they uh, keep its its um, body longer. So that's what I do first. I do the. Uh, I hope y'all can see this. Let's see. Yep. And so this is um, this is what I do first on all of my on all of my um, corners. to do is um, on the edge that's where I, I, I still use the batting so um, and with the batting I just like kind of keep it like sh kind of like a like a donut or, or not a donut like a sausage and kind of stuff it around so that way you know like I said the body can stay firm and uh, like I said I, I just do the outside the furthest edge first I do the further furthest edge first and then uh, go all the way around so like I said just do that I hope y'all can tell uh, what I was talking about pretty much making the um, batting into a sausage and you know going like a whole border all the way around and then if you have a uh, big pieces go ahead and cut them cut them into manageable sizes and same thing roll them around in a, like a sausage and continue to 
to build up your border. So, um, you know, any pieces that you have, you can use them. All right, so this is how your pillow will look like. It looks like a, like a, like it just got a big old indent in the middle. But all of your border is already filled with the batting. And so now in the middle, if you want to continue with batting, you can or not. If you have stuffings, you can put stuffings in. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of both, both batting and stuffing. So I need to go in the in my dungeon to go get my stuffings for and same thing uh, if you have big pieces you know cut them down into big piece uh, into smaller pieces if you can't fit it inside the hole um, you know just kind of improvise think you know uh, what you can do to get the pillow fatter okay. we are almost done so here's the last thing we need to cover up this hole. Now I didn't stuff it enough. I didn't stuff it to where it's going to be real hard for me to put in the machine because I am going to use my sewing machine for this. I'm going to, uh, um, uh, what is that word? Close it up. <laughs> I can't even think of my words right now. <laughs> I'm going to close it up, but, uh, but here's the pillow. And of course I need to fluff it up and make it look all pretty afterwards. But, um, go ahead and bring this in. Move this around. There we go. And, like I said, I didn't stuff it enough. I didn't stuff it fully, full, um, because I'm going to hem it all the way around. Uh, and it'll bring it a little bit more tighter and more secure. So, but all I'm going to do is go ahead and see. Uh, go ahead and close that up. We already ironed it together, so it's really really Even really really straight and we're just gonna do quarter inch all the way around. Okay Now if you want to do hand stitch you can you can hand sew it shut. I Don't I don't like to do it Okay, just in case let me show you real quick What I just did Where's the pillow? Where's the pillow? There it is. See? That's what I did. All I did is I just um, pinned it together so I can sew it, hem it. going to do a blanket stitch. And when you start sewing, don't forget to back stitch just in case. And as you're going around the 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 um, stuff the stuffing the blanket the I goddamn it the pillow you know, obviously you need to move the stuffings out of the way for you. I'm not really looking at it because the camera is kind of in my way. But I want to show y'all how I do this. Okay. And just like all the other projects, or any projects, you want to take your time, do a little at a time. But you got to go like two inches at a time, two inches at a time. I lay my head down. This is hard. <laughs> oh shit! I know. Fucked up. God damn it! I fucked up. That's all right. I'll show you in a moment. I'll show you my fuck up in just a moment.
Oh, and also, if you got to take a rest, take a rest. Uh, don't stress on it. Uh, take your time on it. And whenever you stop, uh, make sure you put the needle down um, so that way, you know, it won't jump um, or make a big old hole or whatever. Oh my god, I finally finished it. Have you finished those errands? Well, Mom, what'd you do? I made a pillow. Wow, why is it so big? Because I made a really big pillow. Wow, I like it. Yes, all right. Give me so, there it is. Can you see it? Yeah. Cool. And I just, like I said, I did a blanket stitch. I mean, you can obviously do a regular stitch. But some parts I messed up, but that's okay. I'd rather have a finished project than a perfect project. Because a perfect project takes forever. And it has to be perfect. And not everybody's perfect. Well, except for maybe, maybe Angela Walters. She's perfect. Well, I'm perfect. Yeah, you're perfect because you're stinky. <sighs> okay, oh my thanks God. for making me a pillow. <sighs> <Come on. laughs> All right, so this is our pillow. Oh yeah, let me show you my mess up real quick. Mess up? You messed up, Mom? Yeah, but I'd rather it being finished than perfect. Where is it at? Where's my mess up? Oh, right here. I don't know. Can you see it? There, I'm, I'm lowering the, the dark, the brightness. So right here is where I messed up. Um, because I didn't have my my needle down when I was moving it, and so I mean it's just a little, a little funk. I don't even know if you could even tell. I could tell. See, yeah, here it is. See, it's like this, and then it jumps down because I didn't keep my needle down. So I guess you know, obviously, make sure your needle's down. <sighs> But yeah, that's my mess up right there. But I like it. It came out good. It came out pretty doggone good. And then just fluffed the hell out of it. And like I said, it's a good way to use your scraps. And uh, and you don't even have to buy a pillow. Alright. So I hope y'all enjoy. Um, like I said, it was just something, something different, something quick. Like I said, this is going to be a two-part um, saga um, on the pillows the pillows saga there you go uh, one how to make the pillow and then two is how to make the pillow cover or pillow shams shams whatever you want to call it uh, inserts well, I don't know I don't know whatever you want to call them that's gonna be on the next one but anyways so I hope y'all like uh, don't forget to like subscribe all that other good stuff what all the other youtubers says and I will see y'all in the next Peace.